Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing, reviewing and installing these, the Favero Asioma Uno power meter pedals. Now Favero are still a relatively new company to the business of power meters. They came out with their B Pro power meter pedals a few years ago, but this is the successor, the Asioma Unos. There is another option for these, the Asioma Duos, which measure power on both pedals rather than just the one on the left. But at my level, as I'm not recovering from a single leg injury, I don't think 200 quid extra will be necessary just to say, oh look, I'm doing 50-50. Now some of the main stats for these pedals, that it can measure anything from 0 to 2000 watts, which I think will be uh, well within my range. Also it has a 50 hour battery life, these are of course rechargeable pedals, and probably most importantly, the plus minus 1% accuracy. Now these are compatible with Bluetooth or AMP+. Plus. You probably want to use AMP Plus if you have a Garmin to connect it with that, and Bluetooth for other useful phone apps such as the Favera app itself. Now as you can see on the side of the box, it tells me I've got the Unos because that is dotted in red. Now let's go ahead and open these up. Has a handy little sleeve. So there they are, as you can see, this is the one which measures the power because that has the pod on it, as this one does not. But with the doers, obviously they'll both have the pods on them. So underneath that we have a fat stack of manuals, some Xpedo 6 degree float cleats. Now the Lookio cleats are compatible with it, but they might not be perfect, so I just use the ones in the box because in a sprint where you're putting out a lot of power, you might just come out the pedals and that's not going to end too well. Now you've also got the bus recharger with some film over it. Now as you can see there are two charging ports, one for each pedal. That will come with both of the boxes, but as I've only got one power meter pedal, I only have to be using one of those. So here we've also got some adapters. We've got the funky one, I presume that's the Aussie adapter. Then the Euro adapter. The American adapter, and finally, the one I'll be using, the UK adapter, the worst plug in history. As you can see, I've only got one charging cable because I only have one power meter pedal. Now, in terms of charging them, the cable just snaps on to the two gold kind of sensors there, just like that. It's magnetized, it's super easy. So I'm gonna take my UK plug, and once that is plugged into the wall, we are good to go. But also we've got a few washers, I'll come onto that in a moment. So with the washers, you just want to place them inside on the pedal spindle there, just to stop any rubbing and flexing and bending on the crank arm. Just helps a little bit. Now give me one second, just gonna find some scissors. Oh, just before we get too far in the video, make sure to hit the like button if you're enjoying so far. So they're just tied with two zip ties. So there you go. So in terms of the actual pedal body, you have the pod. So they're obviously not podless pedals like the Garmin Vector 3s, but they're a bit more like the Vector 1 and 2s, but just better. So now we'll just do the weights of both the pedals. So this is the left pedal with the pod on it. That comes in at 152, and the right pedal with no power meter, 132. Which means together, they are 285. Now that was also another big selling point of these pedals, that they're under 300 grams, like the power tap, P1 pedals I think are 450, the Garmin Vectors are 350 I think, so these are even 50 grams lighter and they're still very accurate so you can see why a lot of people go for them, just like me. Now just for the sake of it, we're going to do the weights of the washers. In total, that's 3 grams, so that might just cost you the Tour de France. Cleats as well. They come in at 57 for the pair. Now also something I didn't notice at first is that inside the box 
there's actually a hex wrench, which means no additional tools to put in your pedals. All you need to do is put it in with a hex wrench and you're good to go. So in terms of the installation, it's actually pretty simple. Just take your pedal and thread the spacer onto it. Then take the hex wrench, put it through the pedal and screw. There you go, that's on pretty securely. Now there's not really any point in me showing you the second one because it's the exact same. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.